Hello folks, welcome back to MTG AI Tournaments. Today we are back with our MTG AI Professional Series with the Old School Tournament. This is the last match of the round 2 bracket before we move into the top 8. Uh, we have Black Artifacts versus White Go Wide, and I'm going to do a quick overview as of the decks as always. If you haven't seen the beta through the dark tournaments, uh, definitely go check them out. Some of them, of course, have music and not very professional um, without commentary and such. So just be aware of that. Uh, otherwise, all tournaments from now on will have commentary 100%. So. But anyways, Black Artifacts, we have four Suchi, four Triskelion here as kind of our artifact creatures. We have four Underworld Dreams. This card's been pretty good in both the Legends uh, tournament in the progression and um, anywhere, anywhere it's been, uh, which is old school and I think there was one other, maybe not, just Legends. Disrupting Spectre, or Disrupting Spe Scepter, not Spectre. Uh, Hypnotic Spectre is not in the deck, <laughs> which is where I was getting that from. You have Basalt Monolith, you have Chaos Orb, two Fell Raw Stones, uh, three Howling Mines, Soaring Mox Jets, so a lot of artifacts, as it is an artifact deck. You have uh, three Dark Rituals, a Mind Twist. You have Drain Life, Demonic Tutor, three Terrors, and two Animate Deads. And then you're going to have more artifacts, kind of like an artifact toolbox deck this is. You have an Icy Manipulator, I don't know why I said that like Yoda. Icy Manipulator, Jade Statue. Uh, I can never say this right. Jamaday Tome, Nevernal's Disc, The Abyss, which destroys basically um, an, a non artifact creature. Every upkeep, and since this deck only has artifact creatures, it's not going to kill any of those. Then you have Mirror Universe. In the land base, we have Library of Alexandria, Double Maze of Ith, Four Mistress Factories, some more artifact creatures. Mitch's Workshop, the Artifact Lotus. Uh, artifact Land Lotus, you could say. You have Urborg, so kind of the... I'm not really going to do much here, but it is a uh, land with a very um, narrow ability. A uh, bunch of swamps and strip mine. It's a little bit long for a deck deck there. We have White Go Bide. Now this deck is all about cheap creatures getting in for a lot of damage. Pumping up with Army of the Law and Crusade. So we have Savannah Lions, four of those, two one for one. You have four Acacian Javelinians here. A one one creature that can remove a counter to deal, to deal damage to any target. And then you have four Tundra rules, a one one first striker. So I guess Urborg can actually do work in this because it can remove first strike from these guys. <laughs> I guess. And, um,. I guess White Knight as well. Protection from Black is talking about Black, right? Maybe. I don't think so. Uh, Ori of Liatbur. So four white creatures here. Uh, you have three White Knights, not in total four copy. Then you have uh, four Mesa Pegasus. So some flying action there. And you have two preachers. This can steal uh, creatures, but your opponents can choose. You have Mox Pearl here, two Swords of Plowshares, two Disenchants, Playset of Crusade. Um, I know this card was banned for racist art or whatever. I really think that's a reach, but hey. You have Armory of Allah, and then you have Double Armageddon, so nobody can have fun. Um, Maze of Ith, four Mistress Factory, a bunch of planes in the strip mine. And we're going to jump right into this, into the games. Okay. So we got a double keep at seven here for both decks. I think I tried to raise my volume this time. I think it's fixed. I know it's been a little bit low last time. I think it's because I've been lowering the volume of my desktop because the sound effects can be obnoxiously loud um, when I have my volume up. So uh, hopefully that can be changed here. We have a Mox Pearl and a Flames here. The turn one, White Knight. That's very nice. We're going to see a Swamp here. And to pass the turn. Draw is a Plains. Attacking in for two. 
and dropping down. I'm assuming it's gonna be a mace bag. Let's just live up the source of postures. And even right now, this is a bit loud. So I'm gonna turn that down. Mission's factory. Terror's gonna take out the Pegasus. Of course, because it cannot target White Knight, because that has protection from black. And protection from blacks will be pretty good in a deck that is black. Well, I do think the Abyss can still get it. Mr. Factory is the play, so some more damage there. Let's see how Savannah Lions in the past the turn. Another Mr. Factory, Anime Dead, is going to target that base of Pegasus. It'll literally just be a 0 1 creature. Um, just waste that Swords of Five Shares, apparently. Sounds good. Past the turn, we're going to see a Tundra Rules is the draw. Wister Factory going to be activated. And we tap in, putting down the Black Artifact deck to 10. The Tundra Rules action there. And next turn is going to be lethal if they end up... It looks like they're going to um, end up attacking with an army of a law. Uh, they don't do, they don't, um, they activate a creature instead. I'm gonna put them down to three. We're still gonna turn. The Abyss is not gonna be enough here. Suchi, not gonna be enough either. We're gonna see a Plains, full on attack, Army of Allah, gonna buff, buff the other creatures. Not that that was needed, but it will. And it will give the first game to the Mono White deck. So I like this deck I'm seeing here. Mono White kind of go wide. Very effective. Very simple. Easy for the AI to play. Well, I do still think that the mana problems is a lot of the reason um, this deck didn't do too well. Whereas here we have a lot of mana. Okay, so game two, we're going to see Mox Jet. Hopefully we can make this to a game three. I always love when the matches go to game three because that would mean that both decks were competent. Which, of course, all these decks are competent because they've made it to the second round, but. Javelineers in the Savannah Alliance is a great start. Underworld Dreams as well is. Um, gonna do some damage, but not much else. You might see an army of Allah here, we will. Put them straight down to 13 really quick there. With the first attack. Seven damage is nothing to be shy about. And we're going to see a Suchi, which is a nice 4 4 blocker. It's going to be very hard for the white go wide the deck. White go wide deck to go around unless they go wide. And we're going to see past the turn. Another swamp, so plenty of mana here. Maze of Ith is also great. Well, less effective here because they are, of course, going wide. But with only two creatures, they're not going to be doing much of that. And Jimmy a day, or whatever the hell you say that, Tome. <laughs> it's going to play. And attacking for three. And we're going to see a Preacher, which... I believe that can steal. I believe that can steal Su Chi, which will be very brutal here. Um, Belwar Stone. Uh, looks like they're gonna use that to play. Use the Dark Ritual to play both of these. Interesting. Yeah. Suchi is going to steal that. Ah! Armageddon is going to take out all lands. Um, do have Soul Ring, Felwar Stone. Um, I guess that doesn't really add mana right now because of lands. But uh, Mox Jet. So. I need something here. Mind Twist is not it. Powerful card. Not what you need this instant. There's going to be an exact lethal here. And the white deck is going to end up winning and taking the match. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this um, last match of round two. We will be moving into the top eight. So all the decks that you've seen, I think this week we've done all the round two tournaments. I'm trying or matches. I'm trying to do uh, multiple videos daily now. Um, I'm just trying to keep keep my videos, the uploads uploads going. Uh, the algorithm was really picked up this channel. Um, kind of shockingly enough. Like I looked at my impressions, I almost have a hundred thousand impressions. Or sorry, not even a hundred thousand impressions. I have about like almost a million impressions, which is kind of insane. Um, we definitely wish a lot of people watch this stuff, but I know it's not the most high quality content. But hey, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed something unique, and hope you guys stick around for more tournaments. See you guys in the top eight.